be in the IGL now. Maybe he's adding some more structure here to the G2 side. We get to see what he might be able to start off with. But Fake Hugh comes in straight away. And he starts off with a strong ghost kill. You see him playing around a bit here as Mixwell's going to be able to take advantage. They've gained control back onto the site. And they're actually going to force him away. So Frenzy go kill. They don't want to stick around here. They're going to bundle their way backwards. But it's quite an easy map for G2 to rotate on. And already we're seeing they're not fully rotated out of the B site just yet. So Frenzy go kill. They've got some work to do on trying to bring this back into an advantageous position. And maybe they'll try and do the double dupe in here. That's definitely interesting. You know, straight away they baited out that Molotov. And I probably wasn't intentional Patatech playing there with the brim but the timing was perfect they go back and then they come back to the a site causing the rotates leaving g2 with very little to say about this they get it in time Ooh. but vax good for one out in the open mixwell sticks around a little too long overstaying his welcome and getting dropped leaving it all down to just two members of g2 to get back into this site oh what a great stun zeke can't do a damn thing and with pith stuck in this fight up into heaven the flash was perfectly timed sender getting in the spawn. But as we come into this round, it's important. If Frenzy go kill, find this. It's a disaster. And that spray is a bit of a disaster. Mixwell not able to connect. The smoke obscures his vision. And now the sight control is there. Frenzy go kill get to dictate where these engagements take place. And that is huge because they can make sure they're close range. And that's exactly where something like the Stinger Ooh. can really thrive. A very brave peek by Machina. That doesn't quite go according to plan. You thought he might have been able to have a chance to get away with it there, but still, with the plant down, G2 needs to make the magic happen on the retake. And it's Ardis, the man who's largely in charge, is going to continue to barrel on forward. More kills going his way. He will be taken down by Sender, but he's overwhelmed and swarmed. The defuse comes in, and that is a pretty comfortable round for G2, though Frenzy, they certainly had a chance. Yeah, well, they certainly made that round into a bit of a frenzy, a full push out towards the A site. That's what you expect, though. Uh, well, there's two different level out the economy difference. Off your feet! Oh, hardest position, not being checked straight away, but then the knives come out. Machina flies on round. We'll put an end to it. Back doing some damage with the Spectre as well. Piff's going to delay the plant going down. More damage being had. The ult as well coming into fruition. No one's going to be found, but it keeps them from putting the spike down. Can G2 try and make something work from here? Both players up in the tower. None of the friends go kill players are going to like, give up their position just yet. Paratek, he tries to find the head popping up, but there's plenty of players around to look out for where he's shooting from. In fact, he's getting away with murder with that Spectre. We spoke about them having left Warson them to play into Mixwell. No flashes going out, and Mixwell lands the first big kill. Nades are going out towards him, but he's picking on kills. Even Dash is out to not take the grenades. And Mixwell, he's ripping them apart. He's feeling confident. He's wanting them all. He's taking them down, and there's only one more to find. He knows exactly where he is. Can't land the shot, but he's not sticking around. He's not going to give it up to him. And he wants to make sure this is still possible. Mixwell, no! He goes out for it again. And Bram, the TP. He's got the spike. He's got the TP. And Pim now has to try and clutch this out. I understand. One health and a dream. Spike planted. He went for it because he had the dash. He'd gotten it back up, so he thought, oh, look at the timing. This guy's walking with his knife out. The brains, the balls, but he's spotted oh. by the cam. And Pith wins the fight. But for a 4K, for an operator shut down on the B main push, yeah. that came way. Does he know that he's killed the last player? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that happens in those crazy moments, right? He probably realized, did you really get that many kills, Mixwell? Did you do that so quickly, bruv? Yeah, someone's going to say he was looking for a weapon, but look at his crosshair placement there. He's like... You'd ulted backside. You'd cleared B main. The only place you could really be peeked from that would be dangerous is if he had wrapped heaven from spawn, which was definitely a possibility, or if he was where he was, hiding behind sight. Really odd that uh, that they left it unprotected. A little bit of action going on here, though, James. We're missing out on it, but on the A site, we see it eventually. They're rushing in. They're getting some kills. And for Frenzy, that's all they want. They want to get that spike down and probably avoid close-range fights, considering the buy they're up against. Yeah, Brams is going to get walled off here. He's not choosing to break it or give away his position just yet. But this is nice. There may be a chance for him here. Vac playing off the side. It's all going to come down to the timing. Oh, Ardis getting away with it. Shotgun power fully coming up. He's even trying to do it long range. Frenzy needs to be careful. And Ardis, even though he's stunned, he's still looking to do more damage. They're playing with each other for now. But they're going to try and now overwhelm Sender. He's stuck down the side. The knives come out. And Piff, well, he was already on the defuse. 
He's going to give it over to Mixwall, though. Get those knives out of plenty in the next round. Obviously, he already has Stack his right. And then ended up winning 13 to 8. So it, it wasn't terrible on either side by any means. That was versus big. Certainly not the same kind of team as G2. I think though, what they've shown us of their defense so far uh, in previous games, they should be decently capable. Mixwell, how does he get away with that? There was a flash out. It missed him. He turned his back and then spun in to get the kill. Oh, wow. Playing anti-flash doesn't always work out in this game. But more recently, versus Heretics, versus Orglis, they got five and three rounds in total. So the fact that they've gotten six here, the attack side is where they really flourish. And I think... Six, yeah, okay, they wanted their seven, their eight versus a team that certainly hasn't got the same name value as them, but I think they'll be happy enough with what they've they got. They might have the same name value soon enough. They might, the you never know, you true. never know. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you! Thank How are you, you getting away with that? He's making his own name here with the classic, and it's not even the right clicks. It was left all the way. <laughs> that was legit. Question is, is it going to be enough now? They got a lot of work to do. Three players to find. Oh, nicely done by back. Easy kill on to Zeke. Can't quite get the second though. That could have been the huge one for them to pick up. It's still gonna be put into a 1v1. And I love this. He's running on away. Sender is gonna spend out his abilities and gonna allow Panatech to reposition. He's checking the entire site. The time is not on his side. The flames go at his feet. He's gonna be forced off the spot. Panatech has brought all the time in the world. This is exactly what he needs. He avoids the stun and he'll stay alive. And this is a G2 pistol win. He can just spend as much time as he wants on it. Send will even land a nice headshot. But that spike is going to go boom. Yeah, I respect the attempt. Hey, Heretics are giving them a run for their money, but they've long been the best team in Europe. They've only lost one best of three when it came down to elimination series. One series, full stop, when it came down to elimination in tournaments, and that was two Heretics in first strike. Other than that, they had that best of three loss in very exceptional circumstances versus FPX, but they came back through the lower bracket and won the tournament in the Allied Odyssey. And outside of that, they've just won everything. No issue, just strolled through. Right now, you're seeing them in the quarterfinals versus Frenzy Go Kill who made it through the open qualifier, actually managing to make them struggle. Oh. And Brams, well, he's just really underlining that with that frag. He saw a pixel. I think he saw the, the last hair on her head, but took the frag. Sender getting up close in that smoke. Lucky that his gun isn't protruding inside of it. And he eventually just backs off. But they have a good read on G2. They know where they can be, and they're already rotating into this position. This is going to be a really tough task for G2 to close out. Yeah, 2v4 is going to take off some incredible shots. And well, that's a good start into the second as well. Piff. He moves on forward. Left. He's got what they need, but Bay Q is in such a good spot. And he misses the first few shots. Nearly an opportunity for Aris to strike back. But with the spike now on the floor and Piff all alone, there's too much for him to deal with, too spike. much for him to handle. He picks the spike back up, tries to bait him out, wants him to move on forward. May goes out towards him. He continues left. to try and bait him with it. They're pushing onto him, but it's fake you. He just faces. Rush in here after hearing the blast back. Paranoia run away. I hope he doesn't pre fire hit us. The classic. The right click still does damage, exactly but not being as powerful as it once was, thankfully. Ryan have nerfed it a little bit, so it doesn't quite get the kill despite two players being low from G2. There's a lot to do for Frenzy Go Kill considering what they're working with. I mean, hardware wise, they're, they're broken. Oh, Piff, spraying away. <laughs> Can't quite connect all the shots he wants, but he does have a backup from his teammates. He'll finish it off with the Classic as well. And realistically, we didn't expect too much in this round. Rams and Sender picking up as much as possible, but even Artis flashed a bit. Taking a slow this time around. Mixwell back on the operator. Oh, easy clap onto Vac. No problem at all. Fake is going to spot one out, but he doesn't want to stick around and fight. He needs some backup for sure. Artis is there with the ult. Will miss it, but still gets the kill. He reads it perfectly. He loves to say he walks on water, but he certainly is in this game. Can he keep this up from start to finish? It's likely so. The T2 are pushing on by. Sender wants to try and take advantage of it, but it's not going to happen. And Machina, but he misses a key shot. There's more players around him. He's trying to land the ball, but Panatech puts him down. Straight down. This covers basically any peak from coming out. It gives you an advantage in the pixel fights. They've got a push, they've got a flank, but hold on. Frenzy go kill. They're already on the A side. They've overwhelmed it, but the mid push then up behind is where Mixwell can do some damage. They oh, 
punch in on the Brams and take him down. The trades are worthwhile as they end up in a 2v1. This has been a hectic Fight round. Planted. This is what I would love to pause, rewind, and analyze, but we can't get there just yet because Vax in a 1v2 already got a headshot connected with the Frenzy, but look at his HP. He's so low. That's a risky dash by Nixwell. 0.75. No, he's using a Frenzy. That's one yeah. second until he can take the weapon out after dashing. But luckily, it worked out. It did work out. And what I think is really crude is when I look at these players and what they generally play. So shifting their med. Oh, my God. Zeke, come on. Brilliant. Give them some room to breathe, for God's sake. And this is Zeke, not just as an IGL, but also showing his versatility in here from start to finish. We saw him on a Sage on split. We now see him on the Rainer. This is a man who will play what's needed, but also be able to deal the damage. This is kind of the final piece that G2 were looking for here. But Machina... He's going to try and land some pieces of his own with the Sheriff in hand. He can't connect those last few shots. It does comfortably go with four still alive to G2. And even if they want to hit Mitch, do they now, right, just stay with the bonus round? To stop Mixwell from... Or not Mixwell, sorry. To stop their Oh, no! From peeking on through. But Brams has just been wide swung by yeah. the least likely player. It's a Sage with her ult up, but still playing aggressive. That was solid there. Machina, he came in heavy hitting on split. And he doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. Oh, this is making headshots galore. And he's forcing them back. Machina cannot stand there to take the fight any longer. Also, so much damage. I've got some huge info. Uh, it was the oh, FPX versus Summon where I expected a double, double Viper and it didn't happen. Thank you, Vakas from Heat, for letting me know. Um, I knew I knew it was, I'd be betrayed before in the past, but Machina, look at this guy. He's just wrecking face of G2. That's a 3K in this round where realistically he should have gotten one and a shot. <laughs> Come on. Who's been watching Jonas' stream? Stop it. That's, that's nasty to close it out. Probably for now, as they start to push forward and make some presents. Down. Well, it does mean the Pip is going to fall back for now. He tries to get the back of a Padatek, who's getting his head cleanly ripped off. The wall goes down. Pip was trying to get the spam through. He might be able to try and deny the plant here. Just off the edge of it. He walks his way through, starts the spam. Doesn't deny the plant, but will pick up the kill. Puts it into the 4v4. But now, he's trying to play around all the other players here, especially the focus towards yellow. Back gets leered off the spot. And the knives are going to go out. Back. Wanted to do some serious damage in a round like this, but his knives may have not even been needed because the rest of the team, they're picking up the pieces, they're shutting everyone down. Um, clearly a B hit with that wall that they've put down from Frenzy Go Kill. So Viper's pit is activated, a two-man rotate, but Frenzy Go Kill, even despite that, are still looking to push B. This is madness. Well, Mixwell well needs to be careful, and he dashes on out there while Pip is able to do some serious damage. It's exactly what he needed. Oh, Vac, ready and waiting for him. Pip pokes out and he goes instantly down. Why did he do that? Yeah, this is a huge chance now for G2, though. Even with Pip going down, one of the rounds where they finally got the numbers advantage, they can get a couple of back-to-back -back rounds in here. But with AQ, Pop in his ultimate. Got some time left with the Empress. Last player standing. But still not able to find the kill. That's going to be the end of it all. Vac, operator in hand, plenty of time, but G2 won't be pushing him one by one at any point in this. Spike is down and Mixwell works his way around yellow. Look at the finals we've had. But best of five is a whole different ball game. Okay, they've seen both players up close. Vac is dead here. That's uh -oh. great. Oh, uh, 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 no, Ow. no. How does he survive? <laughs> he was flashed. They knew he was there. Everything was going their way, and yet Vac gets out. He's still on the back of the site. There's a flank on its way from Brams. He's trying a little bit of a pith play. It's working out for the first kill, but not the second. Full heal up now for Zeke. Gets overhealed completely. I, I do wonder about this wall. You know, they're putting them sideways a lot. And when you're playing against an omen, that's the right play. But I don't think there's anything. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think there's anything they can do. Uh, if it's straight down, it just means they have to break less. But anyways, Sander finds a frag, pops the heal for his teammate. And it's going to be a 2v2 retake. Certainly winnable here for Frenzy. They've got the health advantage for sure. A lot of noise being made. Zeke actually gets overwhelmed eventually, but he wasn't first checked by Vac. Now on five health, Ardis needs to try and clutch this out. Noise being made here by Vac, but did he just spot out Ardis? It's the default plant position here. Should have a good idea of where he's sitting. Pros don't fake. Oh, and Ardis. He waits for it. He doesn't go...
Now, if Frenzy can pick up this round, maybe there's a start of something special here. But G2 going back to this slower style of play. And this was not the normal G2 we saw, Miss. They were not known for the slow starts of it all. Back's going to find himself some success early on, off the back of the knives. And Machina, again, keeps himself tucked away. The Leer comes out. Oh, he still gets Mixwell. That's just unfortunate for Mixwell. It's an instant refrag, but this could be done. Back's in a great spot. Headshot's being landed. He goes up and they all go down. The knives fly out and the 50 win comes in. With the two round disadvantage, they've got themselves at least a little bit to work with over towards the A side in the form of the Viper pit that has been erected. Although usually a pit would go downwards, this one is vertical because because why not? The wall goes down underneath the tube, stopping any sort of flanks, but they've got to deal with the one in front of them. Oh, and the wow. side, Cassander goes up on top of the mid ramp, takes a frag, and that's that's him done. He's happy because they've got a two man advantage. <laughs> Zeke, I just love that from down below. It looks so silly. His feet, like, just floating on top of the screen. He's going for a James Bond moment. Left. Sneaking over into upper A. And I, I thought he got spotted, but of course, Brams is inside the Viper's pit, so can't actually cover this. And there you go. Perfect timing. They know that that Viper is still on the site because the pit is still erected. And with a three versus three, this is dangerous. They're about to completely isolate Brams, but he comes around the side. Oh, Brams, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Spots the final player, and Brams is quick to deal. There we go, he gets the first kill. That's a big pickup as well. That's a huge scalp to take. They're still not planting just yet. There's so many players everywhere. Mixwell goes in for it, jumps up high and wants to make it work. Machina all alone and Zeke will put an end to it all. They're focused up and they're ready to go. And if you're G2, the A side is the, the bread and butter of what we've seen so far. It's traded out though, even with a ghost in hand, but Sender is blocked out, Ooh. unable to help his teammate as Vac goes down. A man advantage now for G2 as they look to close this one out with the A post plan. Still a 3v3 though, and Artis, he's already taken a significant amount of damage. He does get healed back up, and that might be the real chance he needed, but... Oh, Mixwell, he tries to go on the flank, but Brams, he was coming for the runaround. This could be exactly what they need. Fake you still finding more damage as well, and Frenzy Go Kill will not give up. They're not going down without a fight. Patatek has to come up huge, but he's stuck all down, all alone. Oh, it's not checked by Brams! Headshot's landed! Patatek looking to close it out, and he saves the day! 13-10, and G2 take the win! A huge...